Hi everybody. So it's been a long time once again, but I'm here to show you a purchase that I made on Traveler's Notebook USA. Um, they had gotten a restock on the um, limited edition uh, Traveler's Notebooks that they had put out earlier, I guess you could say earlier this summer or late spring. And you know, I kind of wavered on whether I wanted to order or not. So um, I ended up not ordering and then I ended up regretting that <laughs> once they sold out. So I'm gonna go ahead and, oh great, here goes my battery. So let me change it. And I'm back. <laughs> um, it's a good thing that the battery was going dead because I have to recharge everything. I'm actually going on a trip um, this weekend. By the time that this video goes up, I will already be in Chicago. I will be there for, let's see, we get we leave Thursday night, so Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I get back on Tuesday. So yeah, we're going. I'm going on a trip with my sister and her kids, so her kids can experience a big city. So they're gonna be their first time. It's not their first time in a big city, but you know, now that they're a lot older, um, they can enjoy it. So we're taking Amtrak for the first time, just to see how that is from Memphis to Chicago. And um, hopefully, you know, we won't have any problems. Okay, so anyways, I ordered from Traveler's Notebook. Um, like I said, the limited edition sets that they had put out, I didn't order it. I regretted it when they had ran out and then they put them back on stock. So I immediately went ahead and ordered. And I'm now wondering if I should go ahead and order again and get, um, another one. So this is what I got. Um, take it out. I ordered a passport. This is my first um, Traveler's Notebook passport. I already have a um, standard size, which was the, um, what do you want to call it? It was the Pan Am um, limited edition that came out years ago and when they first put out the blue ver you know a blue traveler's notebook this is when Midori was still the one I guess you could say making them so um, that was my very first traveler's notebook when I purchased I wanted it to be you know a limited edition obviously a special one so um, this time I went ahead and ordered a passport and I couldn't decide between the two sizes that well the two versions that they had but I settled for the record version or the music version um, the reason why I guess you could say well I'm from Memphis okay and it's a music city known for the blues I am not like some music fanatic or anything like that I just you know I just liked it more than the other one and I like the fact that it came with um, two stamps so um, I mean that's the only reason why I got it you know um, now I'm thinking of probably purchasing the um, what do you call this the hotel version but I have to look at it again because I don't want to get another blue Traveler's Notebook and one of the limited editions was in blue. I wanted to get um, either, you know, a brown like this, a tan or a, I mean a camel um, or black. Black is fine, but I really wanted to get something that was brown. So as you can see here, the original price on this was 7,000 yen. So probably a lot less with the exchange rate right now in Japan. Um, the dollar is super strong. I wish I was in Japan right now because I could buy a lot for my money. All right, so this is my first time opening it. This has been sitting in my room for two weeks now and it's only now that I've had the time to actually um, film this. So let's go ahead and get it out. How can I get this? I thought it slid out. Because obviously you can see that it does. At least I thought it did. Been really busy at work. Um, I've finally gotten more help, <laughs> so it's just been like training, you know, and stuff like this. When I get and then the heat, oh my god, the heat when I get off work, I don't want to go anywhere, I don't want to do anything, you know, even coming home just to and to film stuff. I'm like, I'm just lazy, I just don't want to deal with it. Okay, so first thing we have here is an envelope with um, looks like some stickers. So you have, let me get a little closer. So you have this. These are really nice. Oops, there's one behind it. Add some music to your trip. Traveler's Records. 
and another one. Now, I'm not gonna say exactly where in Memphis I live, but you could probably figure it out. I will say that in my hometown, I live in a suburb of Memphis, we have one of the very few companies that actually makes vinyl records, okay? I will say that. <laughs> So um, I thought, oh, it's kind of fitting too, you know, because I do live in the town that does make vinyl records. Now that their vinyl records are making a comeback, that particular company is expanding, building a giant um, building right next door to them so that they can make more vinyls. So, okay, so the next one here, I think I, these are the charms, and I'm saving all of these envelopes too to put in the traveler's notebook. Now, another reason why I decided, okay, I need to film this now is because I plan on using this traveler's notebook when I go on my trip. So this is a charm that I can stick on the elastic. So as you can see, it's a record. Okay. I'll just put that there. Okay, so I will open the traveler's notebook glass. Okay, so that's just that. What do we have here? I think we have the two stamps. Okay. I mean, um, you guys have probably already seen, you know, what's inside this particular set um, because it's, like I said, it's this is a re-release or however you want to say it. They got it back in stock. And I know a lot of people have already probably posted videos of this. So here are the two stamps. Okay, oops, upside down. And I thought they're really cute. I like the cassette player. Okay. Now, here we go. I'm still going to keep this box because it's just so cute. That's the thing I love about Traveler's Notebook. They, um, the packaging is just, you know, top notch. Um, if you ever get a chance to pass through Narita Airport, and if you're able to, if you have a long enough layover, you can, you know, um, leave the um, terminal and go into the shopping mall that they have in Terminal 1. They have, a, that's where the Traveler's Notebook Narita store is. And um, if you purchase stuff, they will ask you, you know, if it's, if you want it gift wrapped for gift. I mean, even if it's for yourself, just do it because, you know, it's just so nice the way they gift wrap and you can e reuse the stuff in your Traveler's Notebook. Okay, so here is the little pamphlet for it. Like I said, it's Traveler's Records, limited edition. This is the passport. So this is the thing that explains everything that you get, you know, and then you've got on the back, all of the um, different inserts that you can use with it, okay? So it comes with, as usual, comes with the green, well this one comes with a green elastic band which you can use. And then here is the Traveler's Notebook. Now, always you save this because you can use it. Um, so it comes in this nice cotton bag. Let's see, there we go. That's what I like when you purchase a Traveler's Notebook. Not just limited edition, but standard, I mean, you know, the regular ones. So here it is. Okay, let me, and it's so nice. It's really soft. So green band, I think that one is, is it the same color. Yeah, it is. So open it up. Here we go is the insert. Wow. Okay. So, and then the back, obviously the other side of the cassette tape. Okay. So I, no, I think I'm pretty sure I do have some inserts that I had purchased a long time ago from um, Amazon, which I can go ahead and put here. The first thing I'm probably going to do is I am going to um, clip the corners. Uh, I have a um, corner rounder. I want to round the corners, in other words, because I cannot stand um, <laughs> I can't stand the uh, the squared edges. So I'm just going to probably use like a three eighth, probably, and um, round those but this is a very nice one I will probably not use this right away I will probably use one of the other um, inserts that I have because I believe it's white paper in there uh, this is cream I mean I'm okay with the cream but yeah I'm probably gonna say this I would rather use this for something um, special you know so um, yeah I'm just gonna bring this on the trip just if I need to jot down stuff but um, and I can keep it in my purse 
or my backpack actually. But I like that it's, I, you know, I've been wanting to get a passport, but I just couldn't decide on which one to get. And when they restocked it, I thought, okay, I might as well go ahead and make the jump. Now, that is not the only thing that I purchased. Um, on Amazon Prime, I went ahead and, wow, look at that. <laughs> Let me pull back. I purchased a A5. Uh, this is not Traveler's Notebook, obviously, because they don't make A5. They only make Standard and Passport. But this one, um, I'm going to order some black elastic because right now I, I, you know, changed it out because I do not like the elastic that it comes with. It's, I, I don't even know how to describe it, but it's just hideous. So I used my own, okay, and I was kind of on the fence if I was going to go ahead and repunch because in that way I can put in more than, um, more than one elastic, but for now this will work, okay? So here is what I did with the inserts. Now, I will say that these inserts I did not order from Amazon. The bin store that I go to called Cra uh, Crazy Hot Deals, um, actually there's a couple of them. I go to that one, I go to Treasure Hunt, and there's one called Bluff City, Bluff City Deals. Anyways, when I went to Treasure Hunt on Sunday, they actually had an A5 um, traveler's notebook. It was it's the one that has like a little like a ship wheel on it, I think. And the, um, actually I should go get it, but the leather is not as nice as this. This one is like really butter smooth. The other one's a little bit more rough and a little bit more thick, but it came with like three inserts. And I'm like, well, you know, Sunday is four dollars. Everything in the store is four bucks. So why should I go spend twelve dollars to go and get you know four inserts? Or better yet, I mean, I was thinking I was just going to go ahead and make my own inserts. I know how to do it. Of course, it you know takes time, <laughs> which I'm too lazy to do. I just went ahead and, and you know purchased the traveler's notebook just for the inserts. I don't really care too much for the actual traveler's notebook. I may just go ahead and give it away. Um, but yeah, so I took two of them. This one I've already rounded the corners, as you can see here. Um, and this one I have not. So, um, but yeah, I went ahead and decorated this actually last night. So, and then I'll probably decorate the first page as well. But this was also cream. What the hell, man? Why can't there just be white? But at least it's um, blank because the one thing I hate are line pages. Um, I don't mind like grid or dot, you know, dotted, but I don't want, I don't like lines. So yeah, so I got this one. I may put a couple of patches on here, but um, yeah, so here's the size difference. As you can see, A5 Passport. I mean, it's, it's huge. So um, yeah, those are my purchases. Um, I'm pretty happy with this. It's so adorable, you know. Um, I was thinking of dropping by, um, Tandy Leather and maybe getting a leather conditioner because I wanted to condition this and this one and my other, my standard, but we'll see. All right then. So that is all for today. I do have one more, um, video to film so that I can edit this and get it up before I leave for my trip and it will go live, you know. Um, probably by Saturday and um, hopefully I'll be able to bring back some stuff I'm excited to go shopping in Chicago you know anyways I hope everyone's gonna have a good week and a good weekend be safe and I'll see you again bye